Across the country, millions of dogs and cats live in shelters, rescue facilities, or foster homes. Taking care of the animals is a challenge virtually every neighborhood, city, and state has to deal with. Many communities struggle to find the money to feed and house all these animals. Providing anything other than the bare necessities is simply impossible. That means dogs and cats wait to find their forever homes with nothing to entertain them, nothing to snuggle, nothing to chew, nothing to do. Hi, my name is Marianne, and I founded Glad Dogs Nation to help with the problem. But we can't do it alone. We need help from kids like you. As tweens, teens, and young adults, there is a lot you can do to help animals in need, have fun while you do, and learn new skills along the way. Let's look at ways you can get started. The first idea is an easy way you can help dogs and cats in the animal shelters in your community. Visit your local shelter's website to find what items they need most. You'll often find it's food, towels, toys, bleach, crates, cleaning supplies. Connect with your friends, classmates, scout troops, sports team, fellow band members, synagogue, church, and or neighbors to organize a collection drive for the items your local shelter needs. Decide where donations should be dropped off and ask everyone in your group to use social media to get the word out. Post about your donation drive often and let people know how it's going. It sometimes takes a few times seeing info about the drive for people to remember to drop off their donations. Use video and photos to make your social posts stand out. You know what to do. Take photos or video when you drop everything off and post again to send a big thank you to everyone who donated. Did you know you can have fun while helping animals in need? You can. When you get together to help turn old stuffed animals into safe pet toys. Glad Dogs Nation offers everything you need, including the washed, sanitized, and partially upcycled stuffed animals. Good question. Let's back up. Families and groups donate gently loved stuffed animals to us. We give them a good washing. Then we remove anything that might be dangerous for a dog or cat to ingest. Where eyes were, we glue an applique. In place of the nose, we use a pom-pom. But nothing says dog toy more than a squeaker. So we open the toy so you can put a squeaker inside. For cat toys, bags of catnip go inside. And that's where you come in. You and your friends stitch up the toys to keep the squeaker or catnip inside. The stitching is easy and fun. Don't take my word for it. Listen to 10-year-old Zach Hartman. He has stitched thousands of toys for animals in need and been recognized for his efforts by national organizations as well as Hollywood actress Drew Barrymore. Hi, I'm Zach from Zach Split It. I'm here to tell you how easy these are. All you have to do is get your little squeaker, insert it into the stuffing, and then you're ready to sew. And then once you're done sewing, you go to um, a pet shelter or a humane society. You can just donate the animals to them for dogs that don't have toys. To get started, head over to gladdogsnation.com and click on Stitch Kits. You can choose the kit with the number of toys you want. Simply purchase it and the toys will be on their way. If you want to get some help paying for the kits, you can start a fundraiser and ask family, friends, teammates, and others to help. People love to help animals in need. If you order our largest kit of 50 toys, you can invite your friends to a stitch party. Instructions are included and video is available to show you how to stitch. Everyone will have a great time. If you order one of the smaller kits, you can stitch them by yourself or with the help of your family. When you're done, you can donate the toys to a local shelter or rescue or ship them back to us to distribute to shelters and rescues across the country. Either way, you will be a hero to the animals and the people who care for them. There's another way you can make adorable toys to donate to homeless animals and learn a craft too. We've partnered with Hound Hugger DIY. DIY stands for do it yourself. And that's just what you can do with their super easy pet craft projects. Using fleece and felt from a craft store, you can make all kinds of fun and colorful projects like their one-of-a-kind snuffle toys. 
In no time at all, you can make a Snuffly Donut, Apple, Busy Bee, or Slinky Dog. These are not only adorable, they are also easy to make. The Snuffle Toys have room to hide treats or food inside, so shelter dogs and cats have lots of fun finding everything. The Snuffle Donut is a great place to start for beginner level crafters. The tasty apple goes together quickly with a few hand stitches. The Busy Bee and Slinky Dog are so fun to create and a great opportunity to add your own personal touch. Best part? Whichever project you choose, your handmade toy will provide mental exercise and stress relief. To learn more about any of these ideas, go to gladdogsnation.com slash kidsclub. Everything is detailed for you, and it's easy to send a message if you have any questions. I hope you now see that there are ways you can make a positive impact on the lives of homeless animals. Your help is needed. Your help is critical. Your help makes you a hero.